night. The arrest of three teens involved in yesterday's disturbance at Moat Middle School has Lynn Haven officials calling for change. Police say the guns the teens brought to the school were stolen from an unlocked car at a nearby apartment complex. As News 13's Anna Huffman tells us, officers say this incident should be a wake up call on several fronts. Lynn Haven Police Chief Ricky Ramey described Monday's situation at Moat Middle School as terrifying. This breaks my heart because if those two guns would have been used in that school yesterday. But it could have been worse and avoided. Those two stolen guns on, out of unlocked vehicles went inside of that school the whole day. It can be left in the car, but it needs to be secured inside the car. Hint. Lock your doors. Chief Ramey says the kids stole the loaded guns from an unlocked car parked at this apartment complex on Sunday night. He suspects they went from car to car until they found one that was unlocked. Ramey says they've arrested three teens in connection to this incident, one 13-year-old and two 15-year-olds. They are all facing felony charges. While the burglary and theft it was definitely wrong, Ramey also believes the gun owners need to be held accountable for failing to secure their weapons. He says this isn't the first First time this has happened. The Lynn Haven Police Department has worked almost a dozen car burglaries in the last two years where firearms were taken out of vehicles that were unlocked. There was no forced entry, there was no broken window, it was just carelessness on behalf of the car owner and the gun owner. Bay District School Superintendent Bill Husfeld is also thankful no one was hurt and is looking to the parents for help. If we don't get our parents to get involved with their children's lives and make sure they know what they're doing, where they are, and what What's going on in their lives? We're going to continue to have this problem. In Lynn Haven, Anna Hoffman, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Chief Ramey says this case is still under investigation and more teens could be facing charges involving the burglaries.